Well, she said she's not ruling anything out. Uh, she specifically said she's not ruling anything out. She had some metaphor about fish in that respect, how even the fish run couldn't be predicted. Um, the question is what other people will be willing to support her in doing. I think another run for president is going to be difficult. She has talked about how she never thought you need an office or a title to serve the people or to do things for people, which suggests that she might be interested in entering politics uh, on a non-governmental level as um, head of a social conservative movement or as some kind of group that tries to put forth her ideas. Palin um, given that she uh, seems not to have been that interested in the details of governing, perhaps not very good at legislative good and give and take, may have uh, made the correct decision in, in, I know it seems an unusual argument, but she may have made the correct decision in realizing, you know, I'm not very good at this governance stuff. I'm, uh, my talents are not suited to elected office. I would rather affect politics from outside. As long as she's keeping open the possibility of running for president, which she has very clearly done, she will continue to have the same number of, of detractors at the same intensity. As long as she's a potential threat to, um, uh, to Democrats or a potential candidate who's, um, who's coming out against them, uh, I think she will continue to be a lightning rod for criticism. And um, I, whereas if she were to rule out the possibility of running for elective office, I think that could change um, fairly quickly. She would continue to have uh, detractors and people who disagreed with her strongly, both on grounds of her political positions and personally. She's, um, she's seen as, um, as culturally undesirable to some, just as she's culturally desirable to others. But the intensity might go down if she were seen as no longer a threat, threat if she were just one voice of social conservatives among many. Some of the things that people might mention as being, uh, as being Achilles heels or disadvantages I, th I think won't be among that constituency. You know, Bristol Palin's history in, of uh, unmarried pregnancy, while it's, it's seen as a sort of, uh, was seen as sort of hypocrisy by, um, by many liberal commentators during the campaign, is in fact seen by many social conservatives as a good thing, that, in that Bristol had um, uh, got pregnant under difficult circumstances, unmarried and with a boyfriend who seemed and turned out to be unreliable. Um, she didn't end the pregnancy, and um, social conservatives, as has been pointed out by those who studied the movement, have over the last few years come to prize pro-life values um, above pro-marriage values. Um, not ending pregnancies has come to be seen as more important than not having sex outside of marriage. Similarly, uh, Governor Palin's um, willingness to uh, carry her own pregnancy through to term, in spite of its being a special needs situation has got her tremendous respect in the movement. So that's not an issue. Her ethical problems have largely come from trying to combine motherhood with political office. And she's tended to blur the lines between those two, and this is where the investigations have come from, though Governor Palin rightly says that none of them have in fact found her guilty of any misconduct. And if she leads her own group, uh, or becomes a commentator of some kind, or whatever her formal, her uh, role on paper is, she will not be covered by the kinds of conflict of interest regulations or laws that cover elected officials. And so she won't have that problem, which I think has been her main problem. Um, similarly, if there's any issues regarding lobbying, accusations of that kind, those don't apply for the most part to a social movement leader. One thing that could be a real problem for, um, for Governor Palin as a movement leader would be not her, her moral um, positions, but her relative inarticulateness. It's possible to be a movement leader and not be too well versed on the details of policy, but one does have to sound good. One has to have a certain eloquence in public speaking, and nowadays just as importance a certain, just as important a certain glibness or fluency on television and other electronic media. Palin has not to this point displayed that. She could get better with coaching. Many people have, but um, that ability to articulate a message is. Um, is what she will need to develop if she wants to take on that role.